In this video, I'm going to show how to create a job in Plan Swift. Okay, now I'm going to I'm starting from the point of um, already having downloaded or imported the RR connector. So you should see this symbol up above. If you haven't imported the Red Rhino connector, you need to do that. And also, I'm starting from the point of having already um, imported um, or downloaded the Red Rhino assemblies and products catalogs here okay so that's the point I'm starting from and again I'm going to show you how to create a job in plan Swift okay first I want to show you a diagram of how the connector works so here you see steps one two and three and let me start at the top here it says setting up a job in plan Swift getting ready for on-screen takeoff okay so over here we have red Rhino under the circled one. This is Red Rhino. This is the Red Rhino connector. And this is this is uh, Plan Swift. Now the Red Rhino connector talks, if you will, or communicates between Red Rhino software and Plan Swift. So, so step one here shows create an estimate and sections in Red Rhino. Okay, to get set up uh, set up a job in Plan Swift, you want to start in Red Rhino by creating a an estimate with sections okay then we'll use the connector to import that job into plan Swift now, I'm not going to explain a whole lot more right here but this is the this is the way it flows and again it's important for you to know that this red rhino connector is what communicates between red rhino software and plan Swift and next I'm going to log into red rhino now if you're not already logged into red rhino just pause this video Go ahead and log in. Okay, here's the home page of Red Rhino estimating software. I went online and logged in. Okay, I'm going to go over here and click List Estimates. And I'm going to create a new estimate. Now, again, this is how it starts working in Plan Swift. First, you want to create an estimate and a section or sections in Red Rhino. So I'm going to click the New button here. Again, click New to create a new estimate. And I'm just going to type in the name Taco Bell. Okay. Now I don't do anything over here on this side. I don't touch this pricing or anything over here. I just click save. Now if I was doing a real estimate, I might fill in the square footage and bid date. I won't do that in this case, but I'm just going to type in the, the estimate name and I'm going to click save. Okay. So now I've created a new estimate as soon as that saves. And next I have to create sections, okay? Now the purpose of sections is to break out pricing into different categories, or if your client asks you to break out pricing separate, you create separate sections for how your client asks you to break out pricing. In this case, I'm going to create three sections in this estimate. So I click the new button here to create a new section. I'm just going to type in the section name. This one is site work meaning all work on the site outside the building, and I'm going to save it. Okay, and that's how you create sections. Here you can see where I went ahead and created three different sections, site work, feeders and panels, and branch and lighting. Okay, so when I do my material takeoff on Plan Swift, I'm going to do it separately for each section, okay? Now, when I created a section name, I didn't populate it with a description. It isn't necessary to do that. You can if you want, but I chose not to, okay? So next, I'll show you what's next. Again, first, you start by creating an estimate in Red Rhino and then create the sections. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, next I'm going to log into the Red Rhino connector. Remember we discussed that the connector is what talks between Red Rhino and PlanSwift. So I go up to the top here on PlanSwift screen, I click on RR connector, and when I do it opens a screen, and when that screen opens I'm going to log in. Now you log into the connector just this with the same, let me say it this way, with the same login credentials as when you're logging into Red Rhino. Okay, so I type in the username and password and click log in. Now give it a couple seconds here. It'll change screens here when it logs in. There we have it. Okay, so again, this is the Red Rhino connector. I'm going to I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Move it over. This is the Red Rhino connector and you can see that 
it displays the jobs that I have in my Red Rhino. Now, if you had hundreds of jobs, it would list them all here, okay? But I just have a few um, for this training session or training Rhino. Okay, so to that point then, see where it shows the name Taco Bell, the job name Taco Bell, and the date created, okay? Now, next, I'm going to add that job to PlanSwip. See this button down here? Next, I'm going to do that. Now, before I go on with that, I want you to understand something, and that is this. You need to have your blueprints, your electronic blueprint files, stored on your computer somewhere. Now, I choose to put them in a folder on my desktop so I can find it, okay? So, again, that said, you, next what we're going to do is we're going to add this job to PlanSwift, and then we're going to download the blueprints into PlanSwift into that job, okay? I'm getting ahead of myself, but make sure now that you store your blueprints in a file on your computer somewhere where you can find them, okay? Okay, so again, I'm going to now add this job. I selected Taco Bell, and I'm going to add this job to PlanSwift. So I click the Add Job to PlanSwift button. When I've selected a job and clicked Add Job to PlanSwift, this window opens. This is a PlanSwift window. The window opens here, again, a PlanSwift window. I'm just going to click Next. I'm going to keep advancing through this window until I get to the job that's created. So I'm going to click Next. Now here, the instruction is to select an image or your blueprints. Now I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that after the fact. So what you want to do is, again, just get the job created in PlanSwift, and then we'll upload the plans. I'll show you how. So again, I'm going to click Next. And it says, no images have been checked. Would you like to continue without adding any images? And I'm going to click yes. Okay. Now, next, um, it's already preset here. I'm just going to click next one more time. And then ready to create job. And then I'll click the finish button. Okay. Now we see the job has been created in PlanSwift. Now I'll show how to upload, or should say download, the blueprints into PlanSwift for that job. I'm going to minimize the connector here, just get it out of the way. See at the bottom of my screen it becomes a little icon with a, a rhino on it. Notice at the bottom of the screen on the left here, in PlanSwift screen, I have pages and bookmarks selected. Now all I do is I go up to the top, it says pages and bookmarks. I click the little green plus sign here and it opens a window. It says add pages and then it says uh, this is selected automatically on my computer. It says from image files. Okay, so I'm just, just going to click next. And what I want to do now is to navigate to my computer where I stored the files. I should say the blueprint images, okay? So I'm going to just locate those and download them. So I'm going to go through here. Yours will look different than mine because, um, again, you'll store your, uh, your blueprints on your computer somewhere. Now you have to go find them to download them. You probably can't read this because it's probably really small in here, but just so you know, I always create a file folder on my desktop, and I put the plans with plans in there. So here I've, uh, I'm going to just check the blueprints that I want to download, so I'm going to uncheck everything else. Just leave that file checked and click Next. Okay, it takes me to this window. Um, I like uh, to set up the DPI up here for 300, and I have it set for grayscale 16 shades in the format. Okay, I'm just going to click Next. I'm, again, I'm in process of downloading the blueprints into this job in PlanSwift. It's ready to add, and I'll click Finish. And you'll see these indicators um, of how much um, the plans have been, uh, how much of the plans have been uh, downloaded here, okay, in green. When it's complete, I'll come back on. Now, depending on your file size and speed of computer here, um, um, it could take quite a while if there's lots and lots of blueprint pages here. could take a while to download them. I'll just jump in here and show the progress. In this, in this case, there's 23 pages. It's probably been about four minutes now, and they're still downloading. Okay, be patient with the process. Um, when PlanSwift downloads plans, it has to convert them to a file type that you can work on 
using PlanSwift. Now, over here, you'll see that the plans la landed in a folder. Actually, um, this wasn't opened here when I started. So you'll see that this is PlanSwift plans. I have to click the little plus sign. It, it shows another file, which is the plans that I'm, I just downloaded. I click another plus sign here to open the folder, and I see the plans here. Now, the uh, when you download plans into into Plan Swift, it does not change the file name. You'll see here we have architectural plans. It doesn't show what plan sheet or page. You have to rename them. We'll scroll down here. There's civil plans and electrical plans, but we don't know um, which e sheet or electrical sheet these are. So next we would go and rename them. Now to do that, I'm just going to click on the plan and it'll populate here. I'm going to go down here and read what plan number this is and create, a, uh, or I should say change the name of the plans. That way I can find what I'm looking for in the plan list here. So in this case, I'm going to just, uh, I'm actually going to, um, I'm actually going to blow this up or I should say uh, scroll in, <laughs> I should say um, uh, pan in. And look at this, this is sheet E1. Now sometimes I like to explain what's on the page here too. So in this case, there's a single line diagram. So you just simply double click on this, it'll open a screen, and you can type in the name. I'm gonna say E1.0, and I'm gonna call it single line. Okay, and then when I'm done, I just click OK. And so now, um, after I've named these plans, I can uh, see which one that I'm looking for and click on the appropriate plan. One more thing that you'll want to do for your plans is to scale them. If you're going to count or measure anything on the plans, it's best to scale them. If you don't, or if you try to, it'll make you scale them. So I have this plan sheet open still. I'm just going to go up here and click on Scale. There's a drop down and you can pick whatever standard scale that you want. In this case, it's a quarter inch equals one foot. So I'll just click on that. The plans are now scaled, and I can count or measure on them. Okay, so after you download your plans, you want to rename them and scale the plans. Okay, that's it for this video.